Many fish. It's the 1st of December, 2018. And I want to just show you something really quick here that I made a video yesterday, a short one, on the other channel talking about Pearl Harbor, the pearls, the pearls. A variation of things, but since then, uh, my attention kind of got thrown off track when I saw this strange seismic wave that they just came out with yesterday but it actually occurred on november 11th on 11 11 and when you read into this they're very vague and they don't really tell you exactly how significant this is waves that actually promulgated in 17 second intervals for 20 minutes okay the mystery waveform okay they even say the wave pattern on november 11th resembled slow moving waveforms usually seen following large earthquakes only in this case there was no earthquake the bizarre waveform scientists call monochromatic earthquakes normally produce waves of so many different frequencies the wave readings appear all jumbled you know when you look at those charts they're just all over the place right but the mystery waveform from Mayotte was a crisp zigzag. It was an identifiable wave which could be measured accurately every 17 seconds. That's just crazy. Even the scientists are like, they're too nice. They're too perfect to be nature, joked the University of Glasgow's Helen Robinson, the Ph.D., so they're joking they're too perfect to be nature because they are too perfect to be nature and no earthquake was even recorded there okay this thing was felt all around the world and uh, 11 000 miles away for 20 minutes around 9 30 there's that 9 3 again right but 20 minutes at 17 second intervals right so let's just look at how many seconds is 20 minutes it's 1200 seconds so if we take that and divide it by 17 we'll see how many times this bell was rung right 70 and a half times so if we just think about that for a second 70 times this thing rang that's amazing times 17 so it was actually a total of 1190 seconds okay now if we look at the 17 most people are aware most believers know that 17 biblically represents victory but it also is the triangular it's it's very interesting the 17 is also 153 a lot of you know this a triangular number if you just were to take one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six all the way to 17 you will land on 153 the full net okay so 1190 seconds 70 rings of the bell think about that and what's really really wild is when you take this number and you divide it by 153 <laughs> this is pretty cool sevens across the board all right i mean seriously so to me this was significant this was something to pay attention to particularly since it happened on 11 11 okay and there's more i want to get into um, yesterday at the g20 they experienced an earthquake as well and the uh the official you know people down there they tell us it was a 3.8, okay, which is an 11, and it struck 33 kilometers south of the G20 meeting in Buenos Aires. Think about that. That's pretty crazy. 19 days after the 11-11, uh, which I won't get into that. The 19 is the Tau, you know what I mean? The triple Tau. It's just crazy, and I just need to point it out because this is just pretty cool, and I wanted to share it. And there's so much more I want to get to and share with you guys. But in the meantime, Shabbat Shalom and peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 